uh, I, I'm introducing to now one more concept. Okay, this is a open elevator it is called as. Huh? Will you name open elevator? This is a person of mass M1. This is a rope. Rope, let me show it thick a little bit. Okay, this is a rope. Open elevator, what is mass of this M2? Okay, what force I should, with what force I should pull the rope so that system will be in equilibrium. So here like a, a painter of mass M1 is standing on elevator of mass M2 find the force with which he should pull the rope for equilibrium of system Ah, spring balance is just an instrument here, nothing to do. As usual, you just carry on the problem where the region in which it is connected. So calculate the tension and the tension, the rope to which the spring balance connected, the tension in that rope is what the reading of spring balance. Okay, now look at this one. A painter of mass M. So this is a very generalized, I think nothing to do with our physics here. Uh, you might have seen persons who will paint the buildings, no? The high rise buildings or say some apartments you might have seen, no? there'll be a wooden platform. I'm calling elevator. Ah, oh, yes, it's at rest, no? <coughs> sir, uh, only in this case we'll take rest, sir. In next case, we'll consider even the velocity, sir. Uh, I'm not getting. Like, uh, is it that the whole sum is only in rest or in next case we'll consider that it's moving and then we have to get it to equilibrium? No, it's it's a rest here, it's an equilibrium, it's over, no? Okay, sir. thank you. Find the force with which you should pull the rope for equilibrium of system. So all together, when the person in the elevator should not move. It should be a rest here. Equilibrium or equilibrium of system. I'll, I'll write it rest so it'll be very easy for you. Okay, now see uh, this one. Uh, this is the painter, no? So if he wants to pay, if he wants to move up, you'll pull the rope. If he wants to slide down, you'll pull the rope. This is one mechanism. Huh? It's it's still, it's widely used here. Huh? Next time when you pass through any building where they're doing painting, no? Don't, don't make observation of physical world. I don't know what happened our students here, no? Hardly any knowledge, outside knowledge is nil. I'm, I'm practically telling you. Practical, practical knowledge means not like something going to factory, the physical world, the rhombus, the pyramid, square, hemisphere, no, no idea, no basic geometry, nothing nil is there. All, almost all, everything, 99%. Physical world, zero knowledge. Physics not possible. Huh? You. What is the definition of physics? The study of physical world is physics. So when you don't know physical world, go on, no. What you can do, what teacher can do, what student can do, nothing. You have to just fight with the content. Do make observation, you have some sufficient time. So spending time with a book, no, I suggest you daily half an hour. See objects. Sir, so already we are seeing, no, make observation, notebook, pen, all vegetables, spoon, bowls, everything outside the rocks, everything. Uh, okay, what called draw free body diagram. Get into free body diagram.
Uh, no, uh, some idea like this. Uh, the person will pull the rope, no? With what force he will pull the rope, that will be the, the tension in the rope. So he will pull the rope. That will be the tension. And how the force that will be acting here now? So the, with, I'll hold a rope and, and start pulling it down. As I start pulling it down, so what force, what happens, you pull the rope, no, there is nothing but the tension. So the tension is also acting on the person, will I agree? The tension is also acting on the person here. So then uh, any any other force of normal contact between what? Between the elevator and the person, the normal contact here. I'll show N, and N, N, N will write it. Then similarly, the normal contact should also act on the elevator, the weight of the elevator or the platform and the weight of the person M and G. Sir. Ah. Here the rope is not moving. That's the reason why whatever force he applies, that's equal to tension, that's right? Tension, yeah. That's all, yeah. Okay, sir. Tension. There's a tension and the rope is connected to platform. This is the, I'll, I'll give the block diagram so that it'll be easy for you on the person. What are the forces? Normal contact. The tension and its weight. Draw one free body diagram, nothing wrong. No, this is M2. M2G, so here the tension T. How the normal, the person will press the platform, no? This end, this is what actually you'll forget. Huh? This is very important. What force will pull the rope? That should be the tension. So now I have to <coughs> make things clear. What is T? The force with which the man pulls the rope. Is that okay? Fine. The force with which the man pulls the rope is what? The tension. And, and there's a normal contact. Uh, what is the next thing? So we have to just equate things, no? We have to equate the forces, nothing else is there. And solve for N and T. Find the force with which he should pull the rope. He's asking to calculate the value of T. Sir? So? Yeah. So the man is standing on the elevator, right, sir? Yes. So, fine. so while drawing the free body diagram of, uh, why didn't we consider M one G, sir? Weight of the person. Should, yes, sir. I, or I... while drawing the diagram of. Yeah, it should be there, no? <coughs> so M two is the weight of elevator plus man. How come weight of the only elevator? No, I'm showing this is this is elevator. No, so, so there we can also write M1G, right? Why? Why? You do one thing, just stand and place notebook on your head. Then weight of the notebook should act or not? Will act. And weight of your body will act. And there'll be normal contact between you and your between notebook and your head. That's all. No. Okay. Yes. Say I'm telling this one. See, uh, finding very difficult. Just keep some. So like I said, not understanding. Ten every books you keep on your head. I think you'll understand. Okay. So there should be at equilibrium. No. So n plus t minus m one g equal to zero. Then for elevator, t minus n minus m two equal to zero. Adding up these two, two t equal to m one plus m two. 
So what is the t is equal to m1 plus m2g by 2. You see that one. So what force you should pull up? You should pull up with a force equal to this much here. If you pull with a force greater than this, both person and elevator will accelerate up. If you pull with a force less than this, both person and elevator will slide down. Substitute value of T there, you'll get the value of N. Suppose say that the weighing scale is there, then the N will be the reading of weighing scale. If some massless weighing scale is kept on the elevator on which the person is standing and pulling the rope, then the N will be the reading of weighing scale. So some times they may ask question like this also. So substitute value of T in the above, N plus M1 2G by 2. Check it. <coughs> These are the answers. Sir, um, uh, sir uh, could you once draw the fever diagram of the rope, sir? Yeah, I'll come. The tension and the force, how will they act on the rope, sir? Person, <coughs> there's a rope. I will, I will. These are my like this. It will come, no? Is it okay, no? So I'll I'll be I'll be pulling that rope. So here, what happened? There'll be friction now. There'll be friction will act. Tell me like a, how that uh, uh, friction, sir. Like a, I, I should try to slide my hand down, no? So all of you, I think, finding very difficult to purchase one rope. I think the, you'll be using this to hang close, no? You tie it to some vertical ceiling, anything available, corridor, somewhere, that one. Try to pull it, see? Or, or rope, not possible. You take some cloth, bed sheet, you take it. Try to pull to gate and uh, put a knot to the gate and try to pull, you see? Everything will be visi clearly visible for you. So as you try to pull down, so how your hand, your hand wants to move down, no? Actually, it, it wants, you, you want to try to move down like this. You want to try to move down. So how the friction force, the friction force will be like this, no? And the friction force on the, The friction force on the rope like this. This friction now will set up a tension. Where this T is equal to F. So therefore, nothing but, uh, shall I say this, uh, F is nothing but equal to T, no? So therefore, I'm just showing the tension acting on the man. Got the idea? Okay, sir. Now, if there is any acceleration, then, in then, the rope. Uh, acceleration, a rope is massless, no? Doesn't mix. The Sorry, I think sir. it should be same. Yeah. If that person is accelerating downwards. Then, uh, then, then bring 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 the equations M1G minus N minus N minus T equal to M1A1, M1A. Here only you have to, instead of zero, you write M1A. Nothing to do with the rope. Nothing to do with the rope. Okay, sir. See, you, you have to say, I, I already told you, like I don't blame physics teacher because I'm helpless in this matter. Unless you don't have any much physical world. Again, I'm, I'm repeating, uh, like a, this, this, you might have held once the rope or bed sheet, no, something you tie to the gate and try to pull. Today you tie it, do it. You, 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 can, see the, you can see the forces what I'm showing. Sir, small doubt, sir. Uh Sir, if the man is moving, it is an inertial frame or non-inertial frame, sir? Man is exiting. If the lift is also exiting, then he is standing on non-inertial frame. Yeah. But both are moving with same acceleration. No? Both, both cannot have different acceleration. Am I right? There's a common sense. Huh? 
if both are in different type direction man will lose contact no say the painter who is using this platform what happen it should fall off from this platform or should be on platform should be on platform no so if if man moves up the platform also will move up if the man moves down platform will also move down got it okay let's take some questions on the pathfinder related to this i i picked up some four questions which are related to uh, the topic which we are going to discuss let's take one by one all 